guys, so I'm at Perks Coffee at uh, Life Church in El Paso, Texas. So right now I'm going to go to church and check it out. Is the auditorium? I think it's very cool. I think um, going to church is very essential. Having God there by you, if you don't believe in God, I mean, that's fine. I know there's a lot of atheists out there. Um, and it's just life, you know? Like, you don't have to believe in God, but just having something that you can talk to is very necessary, especially when you're in the medical field. Church starts at 9, so it's 8.15. I'm about to go into church in a little bit. Um, pre-med advice, I guess. This this section is called pre-med advice. Because everybody's asking me about, like, well, how do I get into medical school? Um, I'm going to be putting a lot of pre-med advice because everyone's been telling me, like, I can't get in, how... I can't do it, and I don't have the background like you, and I'm all like, I'm gonna tell you my MCAT, it was a 504. I mean, my GPA was higher to 4.9, 4.9, but that doesn't mean that you won't get it. You just need to try and keep trying and keep trying. Go to church, go to, you know, believe in God, because, and, um, in college, I started to lose my faith. You know, like why God, like why this and why that. But you, know, you need to understand that it's not God's fault. It's not God's fault. In reality, it's your fault if you did not study. You're gonna party. You're gonna party. You know. You do what you gotta do to make it. I won't make this video long. I mean, I make them like probably like three, four, maybe five minutes long. But I'd rather do this in Snapchat because I'm gonna start getting busy. And yeah, so here is a great place uh, in El Paso that you can um, that you can drink some coffee. You know, go to the hospital and do your rounds and right after. I mean, my house is right there by a the hospital, so that's where I'm hopefully I can do rounds in two years. Um, other than that, I'm just going to go into church at 9 and I'll see you guys later.